AD, he's speaking with Mike and the media. AD, it looked like you were dealing with some soreness uh, throughout the game. Just, just wondered what that was like for you, uh, how you played through it, and what the plan is just as you go day to day now for the next couple of games. Yeah, um, it was bothering me through the course of the game, uh, start to finish. But I say it's a, it's a time where we have to you know, be able to fight through it. You know, for me personally, to try to help the team um, gather these wins to keep the hopes alive of the. You know, getting to play in. So, um, doing everything I could on the sideline to keep it warm. And then got a couple days before we play. Um, try to get it right. You know, do some treatment more today and then tomorrow and be ready for Phoenix. And just with you and the medical staff, you know, what's the understanding of it as to, you know, making sure that you don't make it any worse versus expected soreness? How was that conversation? Um, I think they said I, I can't get any worse I think but um, so if I, once I hear that then I'm you know if I can't make it any worse then it, you know it's just going out and uh, making sure I'm comfortable uh, make sure the foot's comfortable enough to go out there and play That's okay. um, AD uh, you know I know you guys have had games like this uh, or have had games where you haven't shown up with the right urgency or the right effort, but another one tonight where it seems like the effort's there. You guys are kind of putting it all out there, and then in the fourth quarter, whatever happens, happens. It kind of unravels. What does, Do those losses feel different than, than other ones that aren't as close or where you're not bringing the appropriate effort? Uh, not for sure. Um, fought extremely hard. You know, the guys fought extremely hard t today. Um, like I said, that fourth quarter last five, you know, five and a half, six minutes, you know, um, costly turnovers. You know, I missed a couple layups. Um, you know, we missed some easy shots and I made some tough ones. But, you know, it's the, you know, we made some some costly turnovers. You know, at the end, it was always the last five minutes. You know, they, they kind of hurt us. Um, but overall, I mean, like I said, the guys played extremely hard. You know, we all did fall. Um, you know, we just got to do a better job closing out games, getting over there, huh? AD, it, it's a yet another instance where you and LeBron being on the court <clears> together <throat> were short-lived. You got to play together against the Pelicans, and today you don't have them. Uh, how hard is it to um, be able to get a true representation of what you guys are as a team uh, without you guys consistently being in there? Yeah, uh, we never did all year. Um, I think us three... And that's three being me, Brown, and Russ. We played 15, 21 games together. You know, um, you know, we didn't expect us to only have 21 games together, but um, just kind of been that year. You know, either I'm in or he's in. Um, and the times we do play together, we look really good. And then, you know, somebody's out of the lineup. So uh, just kind of been that year. It's been tough not being able to fully reach our. Um, you know, potential as far as us three being on the floor and you know seeing what we really could be. But um, with that being said, we also have enough to win basketball games. Like, you know, even when he don't play or I don't play, as you've seen tonight, um, fall extremely hard. We were there. Let's like say some coffee plays at the end, um, last four or five minutes that kind of cost us the game. But um, you know, we continue to fight this way. Um, you know, just give ourselves a chance and see what happens. Do you have a sense that you can have them? On Do you have a sense if you could have him on Tuesday? I have no idea. Hope so. <laughs> AD, what's this team psychic like right now, and how do you guys maintain a good spirit considering where you are? Um, we move on to the next game. Um, like I say, it was, you know, most importantly, we just wanted to make sure that we give ourselves a chance. I mean, we fought hard. Um, we know the situation that we're in, you know, uh, especially with losing today. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, it's another must win, must, must win, you know, in Phoenix. Um, team is playing well, but also can be beat. Um, but the spirits are high. I mean, we're not the one team that's going to fold, uh, you know, until it's all the way over. You know, we got four games left, and, uh, you know, our job's to try to go out and compete and win every one of those. Eddie, um, even when you guys were healthy, 
ish for that that blink earlier this year. Like it was always uh, about what this team could be because continuity and things like that were get, were getting worked out. Um, have you been able to like kind of think about this team on, on a night to night basis, or have the questions in your mind about where this team is always sort of been big picture because of the goals and because of sort of the the nature of the big picture issues that you guys had to face? No, I think the biggest thing that I think about personally is what we could have been, you know, we stay healthy all year. What could we have been? Um, you know, of course you want to, you got to figure out, you know, the kinks early on, but, you know, after it takes that 10, 12, 15, whatever amount of games to figure it out, you know, you get close to all-star after all-star and you're rolling, you kind of feel like, okay, what, what could have we have been if, I was healthy all year. Brian was healthy, you know. Um, K9 is healthy. Like, you think about those things. You know, we put this team together. Um, we look really good on paper. But we haven't had a chance to reach that potential with guys being, you know, in and out of the lineup. So, um, so the most frustrating part about, you know, this season is just not, sh- not being sure of what we could have been. Hey, Katie, what are the emotions around fighting so hard to get back onto the court and then just sort of like the letdown and the stakes of the last two games? Uh, it's basketball. I mean, you know, as long as we're playing hard, you know, there's no moral victories in this league, you know, especially with us. <laughs> the whole world want to see us lose, to be honest. So, um, but, I mean, my job is to be on the floor and help these guys win, you know, and um, I think our spirit is very high in the locker room. You know, we're going to continue to fight. Um, but it's our job to go out there and, and give ourselves a chance. You know, the, the five guys on the floor, no matter who it is. And um, like I say, all these guys have put in the work, put in the effort. Um, now it's, it's just about you know trying to get over that hump. You know, hopefully guys come back in the lineup. They'll be um, and. You know, we finish out, finish out these last four games strong and, and see what happens from there. Last question for Johan, Bill, and then Adi, uh, you have 14 assists over your last couple games. Uh, what, what's been clicking for you from a playmaking perspective? Uh, just making reads. Um, you know, the guys have been uh, moving the ball extremely well, cutting, um, getting in the right spots. And so when I uh, make a move or uh, have the ball, you know, these guys are, are open, you know, whether it's double teams or, you know, me making a move and, you know, they're collapsing or helping. Um, just also just trying to get these guys going, knowing that later on I'll be one-on-one or have open looks. Um, and just playing for, the, playing for these guys. I mean, these guys, like I say, putting the work. Um, and we got to be able to trust them. And I want to let them know that I do trust them, no matter the situation. Um, so giving these guys the ball, telling them to shoot, um, don't with no hesitation, <clears throat> and that's what they've been doing. You know, I give them the ball and they've been making shots. So, um, you know, it's my job as one of the leaders on the team to get everyone involved. And uh, you know, these guys have, have stepped up. You know, since I've been back on just on making shots alone. Ad, your tenure here has lined up with with Frank's. You guys more or less came in at the same time uh, with Frank. Uh, I'm curious how you've seen him navigate this year. It's obviously been so different from the first. They've all been different, but so different from the first two. Yep. How have you seen him navigate kind of the repeated challenges of this year? And how has in in what ways, if at all, has he been different to play for this year than those first two years? Um, I think uh, first year we were healthy. And then last year and, and this year, we weren't. So, I mean, he's um, – his coaching style changes, you know, with who's in the lineup as far as play, schemes, things like that. And, um, you know, when you don't have myself or Braun, um in the lineup, then things change. So, uh, I think that's the biggest difference is not being able to coach, you know, a full team, you know, that we put together the last two years. Whereas our first year, we were extremely healthy and um, – we knew exactly what we were doing, you know. Um, guys knew their roles and um, knew their minutes, rotations, you know. But it changes game to game now, with you know, depending on who's in, in and out of the lineup. Mark, last hey, hey two uh, two part question here. I was wondering, what do you remember your reaction was a few years ago when you learned about the NBA's plan to have a plan tournament 
And now that you've been a part of that fight to the end these last two years, what do you think of the idea? Um, when they first announced it, I honestly don't remember. Um, I know it's a big thing when the uh, COVID hit in the high 80s, and I think Dane was like, give us a chance and things like that. Um, but the last two years, we was in last year, fighting again this year, so I can't say I hate it because <laughs> it, <gives, laughs> it gives a chance to get in the playoffs and try to win the championship. So, um, so it's been good, but, you know, it'd be better if we're in it. If not, then I hate it. So. <laughs> Schedule doesn't get any easier 